I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What? You don't know how to play Rummy 500? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go. Hello, let's talk about Rummy. There are many types of Rummy games because Rummy is a family of card games. It's played all over the world and its roots go back at least 120 years to the Mexican game called Conquien. Today we're gonna to talk about a popular American version, my favorite, Rummy 500, also known as Pinochle Rummy or 500 Rum. Rummy 500 is played over several rounds. You try to create groups of cards called melds. Any card not grouped in a meld is called deadwood. At the end of each round, you gain points for your grouped melds and lose points for your leftover deadwood. The goal is to reach 500 points. Melds are groups of cards. There are two kinds. There is a set, which is three or four cards of the same type. Three jacks make a set. Four eights make a set. The other type of meld is called a run. A run is three or more cards of the same suit that are in sequential order. Ace, two, three of diamonds, that makes a run. In a run, ace is always low. For example, queen, king, ace is not a run because ace is always low in a run. Runs can be as long as you can make them. Okay, now that we know the goal, I think we're ready. Let's break it down, how to play Rummy 500. Ooh. First, we'll set it up. Rummy 500 can be played with two to eight players. If you have two to four players, you'll use a 52 card deck. If you have five to eight players, you'll need two decks. Just shuffle them all together. You'll also need a pen and a paper to keep score. Randomly choose who deals the first round and then take turns clockwise dealing. The dealer shuffles the deck, and if there are only two players, the dealer deals 13 cards each. If there are three or more players, the dealer deals seven cards each. The remaining cards are placed face down in the middle. That is called the stock. The dealer takes the top card from the stock and turns it face up on the table. That starts the discard pile. Players take turns in a clockwise rotation and to the left of the dealer will go first. But that's it, you did it. You're all set up to play Rummy 500. Yep. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> okay, uh, the best way to show you how this game works is to jump right into a two-player game in progress. So take a look here at our example game. What you see is two players' hands, and next to them are each player's played melds. In the middle is the discard pile. I'll explain it more as we go. When you play, you should hold your cards like this, so no one can see them. But I'm showing you all the hands just for our example. Okay, listen up. Your turn consists of three parts. You draw, you create melds, and then you discard. First, you must draw a card. You can choose to draw from the stockpile or the discard pile. If you draw from the stockpile, you just take the top card and add it to your hand. Simple. Let's go back. Whoop! This is the discard pile. Instead of drawing from the stockpile, you can choose to draw any card from the discard pile. To do that, there are two conditions. You must immediately use the card that you chose, and you must also take all the cards on top of it into your hand. For example, I can choose to take this jack, but I also take all the cards on top of it into my hand. I must use the jack right away. I can use the others, or not, but I have to take them. After drawing, you have the option of making any melds that you are able to. You just place them down and boom, there they are. Once you use them, you cannot rearrange them into different melds, but you can add to existing melds on the table. I can add to my existing melds here, like this. You can even add to someone else's existing meld. That's called laying off. Here's an example. I can lay off this ace as part of that melded set. Or I could lay off this ace and five of diamonds as part of that run. Someone else could later lay off a six of diamonds to continue that run. 
When you lay off, you have to specify which meld it is a part of, and again, once a card is melded, you can't use it in another. That goes for layoffs too. After you're done putting down your melds, the third and last part of your turn is to discard. This is not optional. You have to take one of the cards from your hand and put it face up on the discard pile. You can't take it back. This ends your turn, and now it's the next person's turn to draw. But there's one more thing. If someone discards a card that could have been melded or laid off, the first person it says rummy gets to take it and immediately use it. They have to call rummy before the next player draws or it's too late. Then the next player takes their turn by drawing, melding if they can, and then discarding. And then on to the next player. <laughs> Everyone continues taking turns clockwise until the round ends. There are two ways this can happen. The first way is if a player has no cards left in their hand, either from melding all their cards or discarding their last one. Whoop. The other way the round ends is if there's no cards left in the stock and the person whose turn it is is not able or does not wish to draw from the discard pile. Players can continue to take turns with an empty stock until a player does not draw. If a player does not draw, they cannot continue their turn, the round immediately ends. And when the round ends, no other cards can be melded. All cards in hand are now dead wood. All the cards that are played are tallied up. You get points for all your cards that are melded and lose points for the value of any dead wood left in your hand. You can have a negative score. All numbered cards are worth their face value. So each six will be worth six points each. Face cards are worth 10 points each. An ace is worth one point when used in a run, and it's worth 15 points if it was melded into a set. If an ace is deadwood, you lose 15 points. You add the points from your round to your total score on a piece of paper. Negative points reduce your total score. You keep playing hands until someone has 500 points. If you're the first person to get 500 points, or if multiple people in the round with 500 and you have the most points, that means you've won Rummy 500. Congratulations. Now you should know all about that game, how to set it up and how to play. If this video helped, let me know. Hit that like button. Now go have some fun. If you want to learn another, put your requests in the comments, hit subscribe, there's more on the way.